What's up, Gemini gang? Let's see what's going on with you on this lovely Mercury day. All Gemini placements, take a residence, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, Gemini. Hit that subscribe. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Chemistry, mm-hmm. Past life relationship, mm-hmm. Keep an open mind. And then we have playfulness here on the bottom. All right, let's see what's going on here. Gemini's, hold on, let me fix my light. Okay. going everywhere oh Gemini's what is going on hold on y'all let me get these cards because they went everywhere literally okay so let's see what flew out I'm seeing the ten of pentacles let me get these all right okay the strength card the five of pentacles Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. Gemini's. Okay, now nothing wants to flip over. All right, well, I guess I got a pool in. Manually. All right, so, well, we have the judgment here. Mm hmm. Someone wanting another chance, um, Gemini's, or something being brought back to life. Uh, could be a younger earth sign that you're dealing with, or a Scorpio. Mm hmm. That's definitely a past life situation. Ooh. The tower. Something fell on the floor again. Okay, the Four of Swords fell face down to the floor. So Gemini's, for some of you seeing this Four of Swords, I feel like some of you may have kind of pulled away from someone. Um, Gemini's, and I feel like they don't like that. Like someone doesn't like your silence or someone isn't, uh, isn't feeling the fact that, you know, y'all may not be like in the same place or um, something's different about you two, uh, Gemini's, something's different about you and this person. And if you are separated from this person, whether it's you or them, I feel like this person kind of wants to shake things up between you. Ooh, okay. The Five of Swords. Hmm. The Ace of Swords on the bottom. So, Gemini's, this could be someone that you fought with or you argued with. Um, your last interaction with this person could have been an argument or a fight. Um, and like I said, sometimes the five of swords can be about a surrender to, um, Gemini's like someone, um, walking away because these two people in the back are walking away. So, you know, I also feel like too, for some of you, this, this can require like you needing to speak up for yourself or stand up to this person, or you may have done this, especially with the Ace of Swords here on the bottom, like you told them something um, about themselves, or like I said, you stood up for yourself. So take that how it resonates. Well, <laughs> you're dealing with a divine counterpart. The King and the Queen of Wands came out together. So you are dealing with a divine counterpart, Gemini's. Uh, and we're seeing the four of swords again on the bottom. So yeah, for some of you, you're not speaking to this person or, you know, things are a little different between you two. It doesn't mean that it's going to be a forever thing. I'm seeing the king of wands here on the bottom of this deck and I'm seeing the emperor on the bottom of the other deck. So yeah, heavy, um, fiery energy, uh, masculine energy. The tower is Mars. So it's like, um, yeah, there's, there's, a, uh, Gemini's, it's just a lot of energy here. 
So for some of you, this is like the past where there was a big blow up, a big fight. Um, for others of you, that might be like coming up. So take that how it resonates. Okay, so I feel like someone is, is getting ready to erupt um, Gemini's. I got like a heavy nonchalant energy yesterday and I, today is totally different. I'm seeing like someone uh, is, is something's going to get explosive. I don't necessarily mean it in a bad way. Um, I don't think I don't really feel anything negative per se, but I do feel like someone is like tired of not hearing from you, tired of not talking to you. Um, someone may feel like you're being petty to Gemini's or vice versa. <laughs> Yeah, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. I've been seeing this card a lot for you guys in this placement. And then we have the Five of Swords again, Gemini's. So, yeah, cutting the deck, I'm seeing the Chariot. Yikes. So I feel like, Gemini's, um, someone is wanting to um, bring this back to life. Could be a Capricorn here. Yep. Someone miss, misses like something about like your nurturing and usually the pin, the pinnacles are about material and like the physical. So it can represent like materials as far as money and stuff, but it can also represent the body, the physical body. Um, so I feel like it's something about you, Gemini. It's like something about your presence. This person misses a lot. Um, and they're wanting you to, um, let uh, let them back into your energy, uh, Gemini's, even if they have to, like, force their way with this five of swords here on the bottom. Oh, yikes. All right, let's see what else there you got. Ooh, Gemini's, this is your divine counterpart. Ooh, the emperor again. The three of swords. The King of Pentacles. So we have the King of Pentacles and uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. This is your divine counterpart. The Emperor is on the bottom. The Emperor is on the bottom of this deck. I told you guys I saw the Emperor here as well. This is your divine counterpart. Oh, this person feels that way. Mm hmm. I feel like, Gemini's, whatever you did, is it upset this person, uh, Gemini. So if you pulled away, um, you know, if you stop talking to them or anything like that, I feel like it, it's, hmm, you know, this person wants to fight for this connection. That's, that's the only thing I can say about this. They want to fight for it. And if you broke it off with this person or left this person, they're really, really hurt by it. Um, Gemini's, but they're not going to show the hurt part. They're going to show it through, uh, like aggression, uh, Gemini's or maybe even anger um, I don't necessarily see them like doing anything rash but I do feel like um, someone's not getting their way anymore Gemini's it's bothering them a lot a whole lot oh the judgment again y'all can't make it up holy shit man Gemini's the Knight of Pentacles could be a Virgo for some of you. Yeah, this person's coming back to, to put this back together. Even if they have to fight for it. I feel like this person is willing to fight um, for you. It's interesting that the Three of Swords is here in between this, this Queen and this King. So it could have been, you know, heartbreak on both sides, Gemini's. But I feel like this person may not show it. They don't show that they're hurt. Or they don't show that they um, are going through something. Also, for some of you, um, the people around this person can tell something is different. I've picked up this before for you guys in, in another reading. Where this person might be being very mean and nasty to the people around them, like close to them. And they may not even know why. Uh, Gemini's. It's like this person takes their frustrations out on the people that are around them uh, because of what's going on between you two. Yep. <laughs> the Sun. 
star. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Wands also came out with the star. Okay, so hold on, y'all. Let me cover this up. I have to try to black that out if I can. Hold on, y'all. Mm. All right, let me cover it up. But I think I did flash her boobies on the camera. <laughs> we'll see, y'all. So if they flag it, y'all know why. All right, y'all. All right, the Knight of Wands also came out with it. So you could be dealing with a Sag, Gemini's. Now, what's interesting about this is we're seeing the Knight, the Queen, and the King. So um, I'm seeing something coming in stages between you and this person, or this is what's happened. All this fire here, though, Gemini's. Mm, I be cautious, Gemini's. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I will be cautious all right um yeah let's see what else comes out yeah nine of swords mm-hmm thank you spirit that that pretty much confirms um what i was thinking so i feel like with this gemini's um stress anxiety i also get to that this person didn't expect to feel as bad as they feel especially if you haven't talked to this person in a while for some of you it's maybe been a month maybe two months um and i feel like this person kind of expected to i don't want to say be totally over it but they kind of expected to um be in a better space gemini's if that makes sense um, they, they just didn't expect to still feel bad after all this time. I feel like they felt like, um, they would be okay by now, uh, Gemini's. Mm-hmm. Yep, the strength card, the temperance. The devil, yeah. So whatever heartbreak Gemini is going on between you two, I feel like this person wants to fix it. They want to heal it. Um, mm, see, this is what I'm getting here. The strength card can kind of be calm, cool, collected. Now, there's, what's interesting about this strength card here is she's not petting a lion on the... She's not petting a lion here. She's like the half lion. So in the other strength cards, it's usually um, a woman trying to tame a lion. But here, she she's the lion. So it's pretty much, you know, and the, the, the lion represents, um, you know, your wild side. Uh, the side of you that needs to be tamed. Your shadow side. So I feel like this is a good, a good image of it, but... I feel like this person is is trying to keep this cool and steer exterior, but I feel like that's not going to last, uh, Gemini's, because <laughs> this person is burning inside, like seething, which I've gotten for you guys before. Um, yeah, I'm getting to like this person is um, trying to work on their ways too. I've gotten this for you guys before. For those of you that resonate, this resonates with, if you are dealing with someone that seems to like blow up or go off at the smallest of things, I feel like they're like working on that, like working on themselves too. So take that how it resonates, Gemini's. I feel like, um, Something about the way this person like talks to you or something like that may have like pushed you away. Um, the, way the, the way this person treats you, I feel like, may have pushed you away. It's something about this Gemini's that they are working on. Like they're trying to correct. Mm-hmm. The Two of Swords, yeah. Perfect. I'm seeing the Nine of Cups as well, yeah. 
The Two of Swords can be about, uh, again, surrender, but also wanting to bring uh, peace to a situation, call the truth to a situation. And I feel like this is what they want. They don't want to fight with you anymore, Gemini's. Even though they are upset for whatever reason, like I said, some of you are not talking to this person. Um, you know, you got mad and you cut them off or you blocked them or whatever. Uh, they may feel like too that you didn't really give them a chance to explain. You didn't even really, you didn't really give them a chance to say anything, um, Gemini's, and, and I feel like this that's really bothering this person. So take that how it resonates with you. But I do feel like, um, especially here with the Two of Swords over the Star, this person wants to call the truth. They want to heal this. They may even be working on healing themselves because I feel like. They see that their ways are the reason why they're in this predicament. They're, they're the reason why, um, you know, you aren't in their life anymore. They may have pushed you away or whatever the case may be, um, Gemini. So, take that how it resonates, y'all. I told you. Look what I'm seeing on the bottom, y'all, as I'm shuffling. Stop ignoring me. I told you. I told you, this is pissing them off, Gemini's. If you're ignoring this person, they're getting pissed off. <laughs> you bring something out of me. I can't explain it. Could be a fire sign. I told you I saw a lot of fire in this in this spray, you guys. So whether they're a fire sign or not, I feel like whoever this is is mad. Because they're not getting their way. Child. Hurting you only hurt myself. Yeah. Mm hmm Nobody feels as good as you do. Mm-hmm. Rent money by Mary J. Blige. That, now, somebody, uh, for some of you, there's a money problem going on. I'm not the same person. I've changed. See, I told you this person was trying to change or trying to do something different with their life. I really need you in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This again, I'm about to call slash text you. I told you, Gemini's. <laughs> We're not making love no more by Drew Hill. I'm jealous. I want you to myself. Oh, yeah, very jealous from what I'm seeing here. Because this person doesn't really know what you're up to. And I feel like they want to know. Like, this person wants to know everything about you, even though they may not show it. I have a really hard time expressing my feelings and emotions. Mm-hmm, Yeah. I can feel you detaching from me. I told you. I told you, Gemini's. You were the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm-hmm. I miss your touch. I stay awake for hours thinking about you. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Stop ignoring me again. <laughs> now, Gemini's. Stop doing this person like this. Mm, you deserve much better than me. Mm-hmm. Especially if this person's having a money problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows by Jaw Legend. Let me get one more spirit and then we're gonna wrap this up. <clears throat> okay, single by choice could be you or them, and thoughts of you keep me awake at night. Wow, lots of thinking about you. Um cards. All right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini's. Thank you for watching. Peace out.